Are you looking an online secondary school that can teach you the beauty of chemistry, physics, and mathematics? Or are you looking an online teacher who can teach you the beauty of science subject and basic mathematics for the ordinary secondary education at any time and anywhere? Or are you a parent who have been discovered that your child is in form three or form one or form two or form three or form four, who is struggling to master and love chemistry, mathematics, and physics? The answer of all those questions will be given in this session. How are you, everybody who is watching this program? I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all the local, national, and even international students who have joined in this place. Hi, my name is Olen Jolai, Yai Kosin. Simply just call me Olen Jolai. I am a Tanzanian and this is our national flag. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome once again into session seven of chemical questions. And then I would like just to spend a few minutes to give you an introduction of what are we going to, or what are you, what should we expect from the beginnings to the end of this session. Firstly, I would like to thank God who have given me a gift of teaching. And I thank God also who have given me a gift of loving chemistry, physics, and mathematics for the rest of my life. I believe even you yourself, you are gifted in that if it is God is for us. Second, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you into our online schools. So, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all the online students into our online school that called Tanzania Online Ordinary Secondary School in Square Packet College. Simultaneously, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you into one of our official channels that called Tanzania Online or Left for Safety School in Square Bracket in Orange. So you can be asking yourself, possibly this is your first session, so your second session, or your third session, or your fourth video, regardless. So maybe it is your tens or hundreds of the videos that have been watching your program. But I would like to spend a minute to quickly remind you the vision that we have that make us to work hard day and night in order to make sure that we impact present and future generations who love chemistry, physics, and best mathematics for the rest of their life. What is the vision of TOOSO? TOOSO is the abbreviation of Tanzania Online Ordinary Secondary School in Square Bracket Equal in July. So this is the vision that has been written in our mind, in our heart, in our soul, in our flesh, that we have an assignment to teach and train ordinary secondary students on how they can extract knowledge, understanding, and wisdom from the classroom instructions in language, science, and mathematics, and combine it with knowledge, understanding, and wisdom that will teach them to extract it from the Word of God in order to solve small-scale real-life problems. The aim of any education in any country, in any, uh, in any school, is to teach students to think differently and especially to get prepared on how to solve real-life problems. So that the main objective of the also is to teach our students to think differently and think how they can solve real-life problems. Again, Sadly, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you into some of our department, one of our departments that are called Departments of Chemistry. We have so many departments in our TOOSO online school. 
The first one is called in chemistry, the second one is called in physics, and the fourth one, the third one is called birth mathematics. We have the departments of worship, the Lord, and then we have the departments of praise, departments of kingdom of heaven. So we have actual more than three departments. And the subject of the day is called in chemistry. And I'd like to dedicate these contents to all the pre from three, or from three, or QT, or recitals, or grade 10, teachers and the chemists. And this is chapter one that's called the chemical questions. And I would like to welcome you to join me in session seven that's called titled Balancing Chemical Equation. And this will be part one because it's a very interesting topic and very interesting subtopic that will be using and will be applying in a daily life of learning the beauty of chemistry for the ordinary secondary education. Again, before I take you into the next step of a little bit of introduction, I would like to spend this time, or just to spend one minute to join with you in prayer, to invite, to invite God to be the intimate, means to be the medium of communication. God to teach you, and God to help you to understand these contents and transmit these information. So let us pray. Our Father, who is in heaven, we come before your presence. We thank you for this opportunity and we thank you for your love because now you are teaching us session seven of, uh, of balancing chemical equations. Father, I ask your fresh anointing that you have given me or you have prepared and you are giving all the teachers who would like to teach chemistry according to the kingdom perspective. Father, this is a royal family of yours that you have made them in your image and your likeness. I'm praying for them to open their minds to understand and capture and keep this information and apply for the rest of their life. Thank you because you'll be with us. Thank you because you will do great things and transform our life. In Jesus' name. So, right now, I would like to take uh, just in, uh, another minute to navigate with new students. If you have never registered yourself, or if you don't know how you can access our contents online, then join me in just a few minutes to give you a little introduction. Okay? So that's very important. So right now, let us navigate on how you can register yourself in our online school. <clears throat> okay. So if you have registered yourself, you can quit the next step and then continue to the just to dive into the quick review of this session. So, but if you have never registered yourself, you don't know how you can access our contents in sequential order, and maybe you don't know how you can share these contents with other students, just join with me. But if you have registered, then share the following information to other students in order for them to take part of this. So, this is registration. Registration to Tokoso. Remember, Tokoso is abbreviations of Tanzania online, it's ordinary secondary school in square bracket college. The first stage, if you don't have an email, then we ask you to create a new email. A new email. Okay? A new email. It can be uh, in that in a Gmail or it can be a Yahoo now. If you have one, then that is fine. Everybody can create an email. Okay, the second step, then we ask you to sign in, to sign in YouTube by using, by using the email that you have created. And then the third step, we ask you to search, to search what? Search Tanania online or level setting school in the So just search this name, Tanzania Online or Level Second School in the You will see around that one, like this one, is our national flag, the Tanzania uh, National Flag. And beside it, you will see the name. Not You won't see it also, but you will see Tanzania Online or Level Second School in the Bracket in the July. And you will see the number of videos. So now you are in our online school post. Okay, and our online school post. The first step we ask you to uh, to click click the round button because you are not yet in our online school. So click the round buttons with with 
Tanzania National Flag. You might see so many videos. Don't, don't dive into them, but just get into the school first because in this, you know, when you get into the school, you'll see all the collections, you'll find the, the collections, all the collections of our videos. Okay, so then the fifth stage, the side is you see, once you click it, then you see uh, a band, a band, very close to the band, you see a band, and then this band has the national flag of Tanzania. So, Tanzania national flag. You see also this round button, and then the side button, you see uh, a button written subscribe. Okay, a button written subscribe. And then here you see it in the name Tanzania Online or Level or Level Safety School. I believe that you are going with me or this will not get with me. And then you see a trailer video. You see a trailer video. This is the welcome, just a general introduction video. So for you to register yourself, you ask me to click this button once. Once you click it, then the text will change from subscribe into subscribing. Then an icon of the bell will appear. We ask you to click it once and choose option of all. From there, uh, you've already registered yourself and we have a one-time registration. So next time, there's no need for you to register yourself unless you change an email. Or unless you sign in by using somebody's email. So whenever you log in by using a new email, then you have to register yourself. But if you've been using the same email account, our email address, then you have to register yourself one time and registration is free, nobody who is going to charge you. And what advantage of registrations? This is a still ongoing project. We say that it's a, a, a multi-generational and a, a multinational and multinational, uh, multinational generational project. Why we are we saying that it's not national? Because we'll be focused, it will, will be doing this work day after day. So we'll be uploading a new video in this channel. So in order for you to get official notifications once you upload a new video, you have to make sure that you follow these steps for you to get notifications whenever we add a new video. That is, this is step number five. So step number five, you have to click. So step number five, you have to click this subscribe, we have to subscribe. Then you are done with registration. Step number six is, now we can share with you, or we can just, we'd like you to give you an overview of how, of how you can access our content. Uh, uh, we say that, for example, that at the bottom of this Tanzania National Round button, you will see a text written home, you see a text written videos, and you'll we'll see the text written playlist. So in order for you to access all the sessions from session zero to session seven, of all to the last sessions of chemical question, we ask you to click the button written playlist. Playlisting, and then to the playlist written chemical equation. So from there, you will see all the videos about chemical equations from the first session, which is session zero, to the last session. Again, if I believe that you will enjoy our contents and then you would like to share with other students because these contents can be accessed in anywhere at any time. So can be accessed by students of any country, by students of any region, by students of any school. Okay? So how can you share these contents with other students? So at the bottom of this video on your right hand side, you see the buttons written click share in every video, including this one. So click the icon so you can share, and click share to share to share a video link. So you share this video link uh, to other students. So to other students, you can share via social, via your email or social or social media. When I say that social media, example Facebook, example WhatsApp, example Telegram, example Instagram, example, uh, you can share this content also uh, through Sasai, through TikTok, etc. etc. So from there, we have registered yourself. 
you know how you can access the contest because in every topic we create a playlist. And again, you know how you can share a video link for uh, to your to other students in different places of Tanzania and different countries in the world. So right now, uh, let us go into the next or into the beginning or into the uh, the next part of our session, which it is quick review. Quick review. So the quick review we told you session uh, session what session six, which is titled as molecular chemical uh, equation. Molecular chemical equation. That the previous at the title or the name of the previous session. Okay. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask it through the comment section of this video. So it's written as molecular, uh, molecular equation, molecular chemical equation. So in molecular chemical equation, uh, first of all, we define, define, uh, we define the term molecular chemical equation. Then after defining the term molecular chemical equation, then we just reminded you about the general, general uh, chemical equation, chemical equation, and this general chemical equation we told you that on the left hand side we just have reactants, on the right hand side we have products. Okay? Then afterward, then we say that we can uh, we use some symbols such as addition on either product side or on the uh, reactant side. And then as we told you about uh, using of an arrow, we told you about uh, physical states. So we told you about three physical states that we are using in terms of four physical states that we are using in terms. The first, the first physical state is called the solid, the second one is called the liquid, the third one is called the gas, and the fourth one is called the aquas. These are very important uh, physical states or components of the molecular chemical equation. Then we told you 10 examples, 10 examples of what? Of molecular chemical equation, which actually it was a translation from the word chemical equation that we told you in session, in session five. So after teaching you 10 examples of molecular chemical equation, then we told you some questions, okay? So we told you, we told you example eight and example, and we left the home. So we told you example eight, and this example eight was testing about completing and balancing, or it's just completing, complete the following word chemical equations. Complete the following word. Okay, so we learned about your, yeah, so, uh -huh. Yes, it was example nine. Mm -hmm. So, give you some examples and then we left the home. So, right now, let us go into correction. So, we left the homework. However, that we didn't write the word homework. We left it, but this is homework six. Homework six, and it was example nine. So, before we start the session, let us focus on that. So, it's example nine. Example nine. So the example nine, I uh, have took it from this uh, chemistry from three and four students book has been written by Tanzania Institute of Education because we'll be using the syllabus of uh, United Republic of Tanzania. <coughs> and the topic in question was question number two, and it has been it has been written as complete and balanced the following questions. So now we are doing correction, complete and balanced the following question. So question nine A, it was zinc reacting, zinc in solid state, reacting with chlorine in gaseous state. So we'll be uh, according to the according to what we told you in session six, we told you how you can complete the molecular chemical formula. But we didn't teach you how you can balance. That's why that we have to teach about session seven. So according to the question, let me just uh, clarify it for you. So let me clarify for you. So what you could be doing, but 
uh, is respected to what we taught you, you can just complete because the question was stating that complete and balance. So complete and the balance. So if you have missed the, uh, you have missed the session six, you can access the session in the playlist you call the chemical questions. Uh, and then in our YouTube channel called Tanzania Online or Level Set School, it's the bracket to learn to learn. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below because I like questions from my students. So complete and balance the following. So according to what you have told you, balance the following chemical equation. Okay, chemical equation. So according to what you have told you, you can only complete. You cannot balance. Until we cover session seven, then you know how you can balance. Okay? But just to say, let us introduce to you the whole questions from the book. So question nine, example nine A is zinc. So we have zinc in solid state plus what? Zinc in solid state plus chlorine in gaseous state. And this will form what? So zinc plus chlorine, zinc plus chlorine in gaseous state. So complete. This is metal, the act is non-metal. So solid state and gaseous state. So the product will be, zinc will be losing two electrons and chlorine will be gaining the two electrons. But this one will be in aqueous state. So I will teach you how to balance, but how to check the number of atoms on the, of zinc on the left hand side and number of atoms of zinc on the right hand side, it's a cell. But the number of chlorine on the left hand side and number of chlorine on the right hand side is the same. So it's balanced in chemistry. B, correction for example 9, Roman B, we had copper, copper in solid state, react with oxygen in gaseous state. So let us complete. So the product will be copper oxide, and this is aqueous. So is it a balanced chemical equation? No. Why? Because the number of atoms of oxygen on the other side is not equal to the number of atoms of oxygen on the product side. So we have to balance by using the small uh, number. So here we have two atoms of copper and two atoms of oxygen, two atoms of oxygen, but here we still have one atom of copper. So we have to balance it by two. So you have two atoms of copper, two atoms of copper, two atoms of oxygen, one atom of oxygen. I will teach you the steps. That's that the meaning of session seven. Then solution for example 9C, we have magnesium. We have magnesium in solid state plus oxygen. So we have magnesium in solid state plus oxygen in gaseous state. And this will form what? This will form magnesium oxide in aqueous state. Okay, in aqua state. In aqua state. So on the reactant side, we have one atom of magnesium, and here we have one atom of magnesium. Here we have two atoms of oxygen, here we have two, one atom of oxygen. So the equation is not balanced because uh, on the other side, there is more number of high oxygen atom compared to on the product side. So we have to balance by two. So now the number of atoms of magnesium and oxygen has been balanced on the same on the reactor and product side. So solution of example 9D, we have lead. This is lead. What is it? Phosphorus, excuse me. This is phosphorus plus oxygen molecule. But here you have been given three atoms of oxygen. So when phosphorus reacts with oxygen, then there is possibility of forming two compounds. Phosphorus trioxide or phosphorus pentaoxide. So phosphorus will receive two electrons from Oxygen and phosphorus will, and oxygen will receive three electrons from oxygen from oxygen. So why did it, why uh, are we going why, why the product is phosphorus trioxide? 
The reason is because the number three which have been given means that the number of oxygen in the reaction are six atoms. So if you balance by two right now, so you can find that you have four atoms of phosphorus and six atoms of oxygen. So here you have two atoms of oxygen of phosphorus. So if that the case, this is in glacial state and this is in aqua state. If it will be forming phosphorus pentaoxide, then this ring is not correct. So number three, if it is phosphorus penta, pentaoxide, then here we should have number five. So ladies and gentlemen, my beautiful and excellent, excellent student, uh, this is corrections of example nine. Maybe on the part of balancing the chemical equation, you didn't understand don't worry, I'm here to help you, and I'm here to transform you from hating chemistry to love. My responsibility is to teach and train you by using different teaching aids to love chemistry, even have never loved it, or even everybody have said that you cannot be a chemist. So ladies and gentlemen, that is all about your team. A uh, quick review and corrections of the previous homework. You can quit this correction part and then go through session seven from the beginning to the end, and then you'll come back to balance. You can just complete and come back to balance. So let us start our today's session with introduction. Introduction part. This is seven twenty zero. Introduction. Introduction of what? So introduction of. Balancing. Are you ready? Ask me any question, give me the feedback. So, introductions of balancing, chemical equations. Chemical equations. Okay. So, let us, in these introductions of, we uh, say that. Uh, balancing the chemical question. So say that in chemistry, in chemistry, in chemistry, uh, in chemistry we have, because I want us to say the molecular state of molecular form. Okay. So in chemistry we have balancing, balancing, uh, balanced and the unbalanced in terms of have balanced and unbalanced chemical equation chemical equations so chemical equation so we have two or three ways we have three ways of writing the uh, or we have three types of chemical equations, uh, and this is what we like to tell you. The chemical equation, the chemical equation, the weight chemical equation, the weight chemical equation, the weight chemical equation, the chemical equation is always balanced. It's always balanced and they cannot balance it. The molecular, the molecular and ionic chemical, chemical equation may be balanced or unbalanced. May be balanced or unbalanced. Balanced or unbalanced chemical. Depending on what? Depending on the chemical reaction. So some of the chemical 
in question. Some of the molecular chemical equations are balanced, and some of the molecular chemical equations are unbalanced. Some of the ionic chemical equations are balanced, and some of the ionic chemical equations are unbalanced. So depending on the chemical reaction, what does it mean? It depends. We cannot just give you that these are the balanced chemical equations. So it depends. Okay? So that is, so it means that section seven for balancing the chemical equation will be focusing, balancing the chemical equation will be focusing or not, will be focusing on molecular and the ionic equation. So from there, I would like to take you into the next subtopic, states of molecular I didn't teach you yet about ionic chemical equation. Stay tuned, I will teach you. State, state of what? Of molecular and ionic chemical, chemical equation. Chemical equation. State of molecular and ionic chemical question. States of molecular and ionic chemical question. So we say that in, in chemistry, there are two states. There are two states of molecular or ionic equation. Equation. Namely, as the first one is called the balanced molecular or ionic chemical equation. Balanced molecular or ionic chemical equation. The second one is Unbalanced, unbalanced, unbalanced molecular or ionic chemical equation. So you have these two states of origin of chemical equation. So, if you have these two states of chemical equation, then right now we have to dive into these two states before we teach you on the process of balancing. So, we should go into 7.2 and then let me teach you about the first state, which is balancing molecular, which in general, just we call it a uh, balanced chemical equation. So balanced chemical equation. Balanced chemical equation. And this simply will mean molecular or iron. We are not discussing here about uh, about what about wave chemical equation. Remember that a wave chemical equation can be written in molecular chemical equation, and molecular chemical equation can be written in wave chemical equation, and also the wave chemical equation should be written in molecular chemical equations, and then can be written in ionic chemical equation. So later, because uh, in the next sessions I will teach about. Uh, uh, ionic chemical equations, 
And then I would try my level best to make sure that I disturb your mindset and I transform your mindset in order to balance these three chemical equations because you need them and you have to master them and you need this concept for the rest of your life if you will go to the form four or if you join to the advanced secondary education or ordinary diploma education in science or engineering you will just cover these three questions throughout the life of your life in chemistry and also even in biology that you need to know these three types of chemical questions but even you go for your undergraduate and postgraduate in chemistry or in chemical engineering or in engineering different engineering fields you will be dealing with these three types of chemical equations so what i'm teaching right now i'm laying the foundation okay so the fundamental question which will be the first question in this session is this what is what is balanced in, what is balanced in chemical equation what is balanced in chemical equation What's balanced in chemical equation? What's balanced in chemical equation? What is balanced in chemical equation? And the fundamental question. So in chemistry, the balanced in Chemical equation, chemical equation is an in the equation. So I say that in, is the equation is the equation which contain the same, the same kind and the number of atoms. So contain the same kind and numbers of atoms or number of atoms in both reactant and the Product side, reactant and product side of chemical reaction of the of the chemical chemical equation. So simply, uh, the balanced chemical equation in chemistry is an equation or is an equation which contains the same kind and number of atoms in both reactant and product side of the chemical equation. What does it mean? From, from general molecular or from general chemical equation. From general chemical equation where we have reactants reactants this will give us products so it means that if for example we have atom of a plus maybe two atoms of b or maybe plus atom b but atom b it is uh, maybe it's a molecule then we say that if we have a b then this we call it it's unbalanced a chemical equation. For example, that this is the second salt, this is the second base, this is the upper or maybe salt is substance. So this is the unbalanced chemical equation. Why? Because the number of atom A, first of all, they are the same kind. We have kind A, kind A, we have what against means of left atom B and atom B. But the number of atoms is not the same. So we are can say there are two atoms of B and while on the product side there is only one atom of 40 of me but if we say that it is balanced let's say that 
we have something like this one. Uh, let's say that we have, yeah, so you can have A2, and then here you can have AB. So this is the balanced chemical equation. General balanced chemical equation because we have one atom of A on the reactant side and one atom of A on the product side. And we have one, two atoms of B on the reactant side and the two atoms of 40 of B on product side. So that's the example 40 of balanced the chemical equation in terms of 40 of latents. So will be, I'll be, uh, for example, it means that now, this is the case, for example, for example, if you remember the reaction between zinc, when zinc react with chlorine in this state, then the product you say is what is zinc product. This is in upper state. So you have one atom of zinc and one atom of protein. Of, we have one atom of zinc on the alkan side and we have one atom of zinc on the product side. We have two atoms of chlorine on the alkan side and we have two atoms of chlorine on the uh, product on the product side. A second example, if you have sodium hydroxide, which is in upper state, react with hydrochloric acid, which is in upper state, then the product are two, which is sodium chloride plus, which is in upper state, plus water. Plus water. So you can find that this is a balanced chemical equation. Okay, plus water. This is a balanced chemical equation. Okay, so let me give you the balance. Okay. Okay, take down the second example. If we have magnesium carbonate decomposed to form magnesium oxide plus carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is in initial state, this is in upper state. And this is solid substance. So here we have one atom of magnesium, one atom of magnesium, one atom of carbon, one atom of carbon, three atoms of oxygen, three atoms of oxygen. So those are the examples of 40 examples of balanced the chemical equation. We can have more examples of balanced the chemical equation. Uh, in chemistry as well as we can. So these are just two examples, we'll be dealing with them later on. Okay, so this is the foundation. So you have to, so it means that we need to balance. Remember that. These are the product, these are the reactants, and this is the product. This is the reactant and this is the product. So we did not do any balance. So we didn't balance. So when you write the, we completed the chemical reaction, then you find after finishing to complete the chemical reaction, then there's no need for you to balance because the equation has been balanced. Are we together? So not that. So from there, we can write this note. So write this note. There is no, there is no enemy, there is no enemy to balance, to balance, and balance the, there is no enemy to balance the, balance the chemical, a balance the chemical equation after completing after completing the molecular or ionic equation. So no need for you to balance. So there is no need to balance the balance the chemical equation. 
after completing the molecular cryonic equation. What does it mean? This means that the example will be given a responsibility to complete the zinc when the act is chlorine. Then the product is only one product that will be given, will be produced, which is zinc copper. So this is this chemical equation has been balanced. Okay? So that is all about the balance the chemical equation. So ladies and gentlemen, let me teach you the second stage, which is seven, I played just to number just 7.2, and this is titled as unbalanced the, unbalanced the chemical. So this is titled as unbalanced the chemical equation. 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 So we say about unbalanced the chemical equation, we have only two unbalanced chemical equations, which are either molecular or ionic. Either molecular or ionic. So you have a fundamental question, which is question number two. And this is what is what is balanced in balanced the chemical equation. What is balanced in chemical equation? Here it's a definition. Uh, what is unbalanced? What is an what is unbalanced in chemical equation? So unbalanced the chemical equation unbalanced the chemical equation. Balance the chemical equation in the chemical equation so in the chemical equation that contain that contain contains the same kind contain the same kind of atoms on both sides of the equation. of the equation with different number it's different number so it's different number of atoms it's different number of atoms it's different number of atoms on both sides different number of atoms on both sides. So unbalanced the chemical equation is a chemical equation that contains the same kind of atoms on both sides of the chemical equation. Same number of atoms on both sides of the chemical equation with different number of atoms on both sides. So they Mean that when you complete the chemical reaction, you will have the same kind of reactants and products. But with different number 14, 
of atoms. So the, the number of atoms uh, is always located uh, on the left side of 40 of a compound or atom or a molecule. So from the general general chemical equation, so from the general chemical from the general chemical equation, where we have reactants produce product, produce maybe some reactants, reactant produce product. So this will happen, for example, we have A plus B to let's say molecular side, this is solid, this is gas, and then maybe a product is AB, and this is aqueous state. So the same kind, we have atom A and atom A. We have molecular B and atom B. So the same kind of atom but different number of photo of atoms. Where the difference, uh, where is the difference number of atoms? Here we have one mole of atom A, and here we have one mole of atom A. We have one atom of A on reactant side, and one atom of A on product side. So for the atom A, the number of atoms in A are balanced. But we have two atoms of molecule B on the reactant side, while on product side we have only one atom of 40, one atom of B. So the number of atoms of B is not balanced. I'll teach you the steps. So if that the case, we as chemists, we have to balance this chemical equation. How do we balance? Here we have two atoms of B, so we have to multiply the product with the wall number two. But when we add it, or when we introduce this number, or we multiply the product with number two on the left hand side, don't put the right hand side, we are always on the rules of chemistry, we are writing this number of atoms on the left hand side. Then, when we, we balance the, the number of atoms of B, which is being balanced right now, we have disturbed it also the number of atoms, or we have unbalanced the number of atoms of A. So on the atom side, we have one atom of A, while on product side at this moment, we have two atoms of A. So to balance the number of atoms of A, then we multiply the atom A with the wall number two. Then that equation is what is balanced. So to make the difference between the unbalanced, so this is unbalanced, so this is unbalanced, then we say that here we have A in solid state. Let me repeat, because some students say, sir, can you repeat? Let me repeat the advantage of my online from the students. On the reactant side, we have one atom of A and one atom of A, it is balanced. We have two atoms of B, one atom of B on reactant on product side. So this is unbalanced. The number of atoms of B is unbalanced. So we multiply the product with wall number three. Then when we multiply this product by number two, then we disturb the number of atoms of A. So the number of atoms of A are unbalanced. We have one atom of A, we have two atoms of A. So here we have to multiply the reactant A with the wall number two. So now this is what we call T. Balanced in, uh, balanced in chemical equation. So let me give you examples. Okay? The good examples refer example nine. So example nine. So refer example nine. So in example nine, we had a reaction between copper and solid state plus oxygen in glacial stage, and this will give us copper oxygen in upper stage, in upper stage, okay? So the number of copper has been balanced, but the number of oxygen is not balanced. So that is unbalanced chemical equation. 
What should we do as chemists? We have to balance it. We have to balance it. So this is a balanced thing. This is unbalancing chemical pressure. I'm teaching you a very important concept. I've been going through chemistry from my formal education, since my primary education, I learned chemistry until my advanced secondary, secondary level, which is form six. So I've been seeing repeatedly all of this information that I'm teaching you at this moment. By that time, nobody has taught me clearly in this style that I'm in this simplified way that I'm teaching. So I learned the hard way and I don't want you to go the, to go the way that I've learned myself. So to balance now the chemical question, we have two atoms of one atom of copper on the other hand side. We have this atom, two, two atoms of oxygen to form what copper oxide. Form copper oxide in aqueous state. So to balance, uh -huh. so the number of copper has been balanced, but the number of oxygen is not balanced. So to balance the number of oxygen, we multiply the product with wall number two, okay? And then, so you balance the number of oxygen very right? But when we have been balancing the number of oxygen on the other side, the product side, we disturb the number of atoms of copper on the other side. Now, the number of atoms in of copper in the product side is two, while the number of atoms of copper on the other side is one. So to balance now, secondly, we have balanced the number of atoms of copper, so we balance it by adding number two. So now this is what it, this is balanced the chemical equation. Balanced the chemical equation. So then the second example, this is an extra example. For example, if you have sodium hydroxide, which is neutralization reaction, we told you in the previous session, when to react with hydrochloric acid, which is also used in aquas, the product are sodium chloride plus water. So sodium chloride is in aquas, this is table salt and water is in the in state, physical state. Okay? So, it is the case you say that we have, so now let us check the number of atoms. How many atoms do we have? We have sodium atom, oxygen atom, hydrogen atom, chlorine atom. So we have four atoms. The four atoms. Sodium atom, oxygen atom, hydrogen atom, and chlorine atom. So let us check is number of sodium, is number of atoms of sodium on the other side is the same with the number of atoms of sodium on the product side? The answer is yes. Is number of oxygen on the other side is the same with the number of oxygen on the product side? The answer is yes. Is number of hydrogen atom on the other side is the same with the number of atoms of what? Of hydrogen, of hydrogen on product side? The answer is no. So the number of atoms of hydrogens are not balanced. Okay, so if that's the case, ah, it's balanced again. It's balanced. Oh, wow, this is balanced again. Okay, question. So it means that he, now, okay, so this is balanced again. Okay, question. So excuse me. Okay, so if you have potassium, if you have what? If you have calcium hydroxide plus what? So calcium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid, all of these compounds are in upper state. The product will be calcium chloride plus water. The products of any neutralization reaction is salty and water. So we have, so how many atoms do we have? Four atoms. The first atom is calcium, second atom is oxygen, third atom is hydrogen, and the first atom is chlorine. So you have to check. Okay, we have to check. Is the number of carbon balanced? The answer is yes. Is number of oxygen on reactant side balanced with the number of atoms of oxygen on product side? The answer is no. We have two atoms of oxygen. We have one atom of oxygen on product side. Then is number of hydrogen on reactant, is number of atoms of hydrogen in reactant side has been is balanced with the number of hydrogens on product side? The answer is yes. 
is the number of chlorine on the atoms, the number of atoms of chlorine on the atom side A is the same with the number of atoms of chlorine on the product side, the answer is no. Okay. So if that's the case, now we have to balance. So how can we balance? So let us multiply this with the whole number, which is number two. Huh? So if that's the case, okay, wonderful. So if this is the case, uh -huh, so now we can check. So on the other side, now we have, we balance the number of chlorine, but we disturb the number of hydrogen because on the other side, we have four atoms of hydrogen, while you have two atoms of food, hydrogen. So to balance, we have what? We have to multiply by two. Okay? So from there, we have two atoms of oxygen, two atoms of oxygen. We have four atoms of hydrogen, four atoms of hydrogen. We have two atoms of chlorine and two atoms of oxygen of chlorine. So the question is what? Is balanced. So it means that in this state, it was not balanced. In, so it's unbalanced. In. Okay, this is unbalanced in terms of expression. So to balance it, we have calcium, hydroxide, then plus what? Two atoms of hydrogen chloride in the upper state. This will form calcium chloride in the upper state plus two atoms of water in the big state. So that's the balance. So that's the fact about Turkey about balanced in and unbalanced in chemical equations. Okay? So take a minute to think about this truth because it is beautiful actually. Okay. So if that the case, now let me spend a few minutes to teach you now about the tactile, which is will be uh, I'll teach you more examples. Uh, I'll spend session eight on teaching you uh, how you can balance different molecular or ionic chemical equations. So you should not worry, these are just a few examples to give you the big picture. But don't worry, in session 8 I will teach you so many examples. Uh, but I'll be focusing on what balancing uh, the molecular chemical equation. Once I teach you about ionic chemical equations, also I will teach you the part of balance. Right? So stay tuned. So this will make seven, uh, now we are going to the session 7.4. And this is now, let me teach you about balancing. Uh, but before, just to teach you this session. So I have some few points to make. So, not the following thing. Okay. So, the unbalanced, the unbalanced, the unbalanced molecular or ionic chemical equation. Sentence that I want to make. Again, the second not if the given chemical equation, chemical equation is expressed in, in way, then write it. In what? In molecular. In molecular. In molecular equation. Chemical equation. In order to balance. I will explain this in later part. So now 7.4. Let me teach you about 
balancing the chemical equation. Balancing chemical equation. And when you say the balance in the chemical equation, we know in our mind, balancing the chemical equation, the molecular and ionic or ionic chemical equation. So we have the fundamental question to read for this session. And the fundamental question for you is what is what is balancing what is the meaning what is balancing of chemical equation what is the meaning of or define balancing of chemical equation What is the meaning? What is the meaning of balancing of chemical equation? What is the meaning of balancing of chemical equation? So balancing of chemical equation in chemistry we define it in chemical equation or if you'll be asked to define balancing of molecular chemical equation or balancing of ionic chemical equation have the same meaning. So balancing of chemical equation is a process, is a process of making the process of making the num the, the, the number and the kind the number and kind and kind of kind of atoms The same so we have a, it's a process of making the number and kind of atoms the same on both on both sides of the chemical on both sides of chemical equation. So balancing of chemical equation, the process of making the number of kind of atoms the same on both sides of the chemical equation. So this is the process. So I'm saying the process means we have to follow some steps on accomplishing the process. So that's the meaning of balance in the chemical equation. So we are going to teach you the process. The process of balancing the chemical equation. Okay. If you have any question about Subsection 7.0, 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, 7.4. If you have any question, any feedback, please don't hesitate to ask us in the comment section below. All right? Great. So right now, let me teach you about 
uh, steps followed to balance the chemical equation. That is 7.25. If you don't have any question and you have understood everything that I've told you, let me teach you some few steps. Steps followed. Followed by who? By chemistries. Followed to balance. To balance. Steps followed to balance the chemical. The chemical. This will be the last part. The chemical equations. Will be the last part for session seven. So steps forward to balance the chemical equation. So in chemistry, in an entire life of chemistry, there are some steps forward by the chemistry, chemistry. These are people who study chemistry, including you, but the chemistries, to balance, to balance the chemical, so the chemical equation. Chemical equation. Following our steps, so the following are the steps followed in balancing the unbalanced. Chemical molecular or ionic equation. So I have prepared me, uh, some of the steps that, but let me just say molecular. Yes, means because if you're given the way chemical pressure, they say that if they Given chemical equations expressed in red, then try it to molecular chemical equations in order to balance it. So we assume that the given chemical equation is in red chemical equation. It depends to which type of chemical equation you've been given. You might be given a red chemical equation and be asked to balance. You might be given a molecular chemical equations and you might you will, and then you have been asked to balance. You might be given uh, ionic chemical equations and then you've been asked to balance. So you have to be careful on that. So the first step, so regardless, so these are the steps that you have to follow uh, uh, whether you are balancing molecular or ionic or weight chemical equations. So the first step and second step. Yeah, so all the weight equation. The first step. The first step on your left hand side, write the molecular formula of the chemical substance that you react. On your left hand side, which in chemistry is short we call it the error page. Yes, left hand side. Write, write the molecular, <coughs> write the molecular formula of the chemical substance. 
chemical substances that react that react that react in chemical substance that react in, in the reaction. This is all about reactants. So write your all your reactants on the left hand side. Remember that I have told the general question. On left hand side you have reactant, then you have an arrow, then you have all the products. So that's the first step. The second step I've already mentioned the second thing. Once you've written all the reactants, the molecular formula of reactants which have been, which have taken part in the that chemical reaction, the next step we ask you to draw an arrow from your left hand side. Okay, arrow, so we say that in the second step. Draw an arrow. Okay, draw the arrow. Okay, draw the arrow from from the reactant side. From the reactant side, which is left hand side. Toward, towards the products which is right hand side. So right hand side. Ten. The third thing. Then on on your uh, right hand side on your right hand side of the arrow which in short we call the right hand side right the molecular inside after the arrow okay next thing to arrow Write the molecular formula. Write the molecular formula of, of each product of each product from the during the reaction. During the reaction. So on your right hand side, next to the arrow, write the molecular formula of each product formed during the reaction. But then set the state. So you need yet start to balance. So here it means you are writing the molecular form. The force is taken now. Check the number. The number of atoms. In reactant side, if it is the same to the number of atoms on the product. So check if the number of atoms in reactant site 
is the same. Is the same to the number of atoms on product side by inspection by inspection method. So use the inspection method to check the number of atoms of each reactant. Uh, and the number of atoms of, of, of each product by inspection method. So check if the number of atoms on the reactant side is the same to the number of atoms on the product by inspection. If it's the same, then the portion is balanced. Then we go into the fusion state. If the number of atoms on the reactant side if the number of atoms on the reactant side is not the same, then balance. Balance it by Then apply by writing. small wall or fraction number. In front. In front of one or more So if the number of atoms on the other side is not the same, it's not the same, then balance it by writing small. Writing small work or fraction number in front of one or more molecular form. So you should. This is means, for example, if you remember that, we have the copper and sodium state, and oxygen state, then this will have copper oxide. So this is two atoms, and here we have two atoms. So it's balanced in general equation. Okay. So the sixth and last steps. It is easy sometimes.
it is easy sometimes it is easy sometimes to balance the chemical question is easy to balance the chemical equation by using it is easy sometimes to balance the chemical equation by using fraction by using fraction of a molecule using fraction of a molecule then you must multiply you must multiply the whole chemical equation chemical equation by two to remove the fraction. What does it mean? Sometimes you, because uh, in the fifth step we say that you multiply We, we, it means we multiply the wall, small or small wall or fraction number in front of one or more chemical formula present in the chemical equation. So in the sixth step, sometimes, so it means that in most cases we'll be balancing by using whole numbers. In some few cases, it's easy to balance the chemical equation by using fraction of the molecule. So use fraction of the molecule. And then, in order to eliminate the molecule, in order to eliminate the fractions in the balance the chemical equation, you must multiply the whole chemical equation by two to remove the fraction. This is very important part, and I've prepared a number of examples in order to teach you. Let me give you a simple example, just a clue, but I will teach you in detail about it. I will teach you in detail about it. Example, if you have been given phosphorus in solid state, plus oxygen in gaseous state, and then the product is phosphorus trioxide, and have been asked it in to balance. So this is gaseous state. This is in gaseous state. Uh, this is uh, just in solid state, and this is solid state. For example, so here we have one atom of phosphorus on the reactant side, while we have two atoms of phosphorus on the product side. So the number of atoms of phosphorus is not balanced. Then the number of, here we have two atoms of oxygen on the reactant side, and here we have three atoms of oxygen on product side. So the number of oxygen is not balanced. So sometimes you can find that you find some difficulties to apply. Means that just to, means to, to, to calculate or to just to get the actual number. So for instance, if here we apply this oxygen by 2, by 3 over 2, this is the fraction number. 3 over 2 is 1.5. Okay? So if we apply it this way, and then, but we find that the number of phosphorus is not, so the number of oxygen has been balanced because we have three atoms of oxygen on the other side, which is the same with the three atoms of oxygen on the product side. 
So if that's the case, we say that it could find. So what should we do? So we have multiplied with the fractional small number, small fractional number, then we want to eliminate it. So the best way we say that in the next thing, uh, we say we, we have to multiply by two. Multiply by two to boss the world chemical equation. Because say then you must multiply the world chemical equation by two to remove what? Remove the fraction. In order to get, in order to get to the, the balanced chemical depression as I have presented to you. So the sixth step, the last step, I'm about to finish this session. So within a few minutes, I will postpone the session or I will end this session and get prepared for the next session, which is session eight, where we'll be solving more problems on balancing the chemical equation. So we have phosphorus, which is solid state. Then we have oxygen, which is in the gaseous matrix, multiplied it by what? Let's uh, multiply it by 2. So here we have 3 over 2. Here we have oxygen in gaseous state. And this will form phosphorus. And we have this. So it means that we have to multiply all the reactant side by 2. So 2 times 1 atom of phosphorus we multiply by 2. And this one multiply by 2. So these two and these two cancel. So you have 2 atoms of phosphorus in solid state. There are 3 atoms of oxygen in pressure state. And this will form 2 atoms of phosphorus trioxide. Maybe uh, in this state. So now we have two atoms of phosphorus, we have four atoms of phosphorus on this side, and there's three atoms, we have six atoms of oxygen and six atoms of forty of oxygen. Uh -huh. So it means that this one, yeah, so this one, before we apply with that one, so we have to apply it only two. So here we have 2 times 2. So here we have 4 atoms of phosphorus. So you have 4 atoms of phosphorus, 4 atoms of phosphorus, 6 atoms of oxygen, 6 atoms of oxygen. Ladies and gentlemen, before I end this session, let me give you a homework. This is homework 7. Homework 7. Uh, and this is example 10. Example 10. Okay? So, example 10. So, follow the steps that I've told you. Follow all the six steps to write the balanced uh, the balanced chemical reaction. Write the balanced chemical reaction between write the chemical balance the write the balance the chemical equation of reaction balance write the balance the chemical equation write the balance the chemical reaction between hydro hydrochloric acid and the zinc. That's your homework. So that is example 10. We have to write the balance the chemical reaction between hydrochloric acid and zinc. So my dear student, I would like to encourage and insist to you that make sure you do homework 7, example 10, and you submit your solution in the comment section if you can write to me how the homework was. However, that we may do corrections in session eight. So, my dear student, this is the end of session seven, which has been titled at Balancing Chemical Equation. I would like to invite you to join me in session eight, when I will teach about problem solving on balancing the chemical reactions or chemical 
equations. So you have to stay tuned, you have to keep enjoying the beauty of chemical equations. And I would like to tell you that you need to master this information for the rest of your life. If you go to the advanced the secondary education, you will cover, you will find this concept. If you maybe you decide to go into the route of ordinary diploma in health science, in allied science, in chemistry, in laboratory science, you are going to encounter all of this information. So don't lend them for with the focus of answering questions for the nectar of form four. And don't lend them for the answering the question for the middle secondary school. But learn them because you need them, and especially if in your vision you need the knowledge of chemistry to apply to solve real life problems. Before I end these sessions, I would like just to remind you that you can have an, uh, again an online access. And the first access, we have also established the Tanzania Online Online Library, which is in short we call it all. In this library, we would like to equip our students with books that can make them or so just it can help them to learn and enjoy the beauty of chemistry, physics, and basic mathematics. These are the sum of the books. This is called the Chemistry from Theory and Four Students Book, which has been written by Tanzania Institute of Education. This is called the Ordinary Level Chemistry Review. It's questions and answers. It contains questions for the NECTAR exam. And this is Chemistry from One and from Two Students Book. And this is Chemistry are uh, often to chemistry review, which contain questions and solutions of NECTA plus papers for 2003 to 2019. So you can order, or you can press your order. How you can press your order? Just send an SMS. So this telephone number 0759 uh, 7431. This is seven, it's not one. So 0759. 745331. At this moment, we can send these books to any students who order in any regions of the United Republic of Tanzania, including Mongolia and Pema. So there are two costs buying cost for these books, and also there is transport cost. So if you send an SMS, then I will make a call with you and then give you details about what you are doing. Lastly, we would like to invite you to offer your free incense givings in order to be a part of this program of any amount in order to just it, uh, facilitate the running cost because you have a vision of recording more than 800 videos that will be teaching you about uh, physics, chemistry, basic mathematics in form one, form two, form three, form four. It's total of eight, 12 subjects. So you may send your free sense giving of any amount so 0759745331 and registered name is for your light yard. And may God bless you abundantly for what you have offered and receive that blessing by faith. So because you have opened this prayer and you have seen the hand of God and in his presence, right now let us end this session so prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, we say thank you for what you have taught us in balancing chemical questions. We'd like to invite you in the next session, that will be session eight. And Father, I'm praying for all my students who are online right now, from one, from two, from three, from four. Bless them, open their mind, let them comprehend these concepts, and let them see the small scale real life problems that need solutions. And actual Father, you have prepared them before they were born, or before they've been even created in their mother's wombs, in order to solve real life problems. My Father, I invite you to keep teaching them and help them and answer all the questions that they might be asking in their mind and help them to ask the questions in the comment sections in order for them to have correct information. Father, I thank you and I bless your holy name because your kingdom is greater. In Jesus' name, amen. So may God bless you and keep you, keep enjoying the beauty of chemistry. See you in the next session. That will be session eight. This is Ola July from Tanzania. You're welcome.